Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Molina and I work for The Vegan Warehouse. Um, I am the product development and wholesale manager uh, for The Vegan Warehouse, specifically for our brand, Mercy, uh, where we sell handbags and accessories. And I wanted to show you how a product development day goes. I wake up around 7.30 in the morning. I definitely make my coffee because I need that. I'm Colombian. I go on WeChat and see if the factory needs anything, any important messages. And this is actually a really good video if you're a designer or a product developer. This is definitely the video for you. I'll be taking you through my day as a product developer in a handbag business. Let's go. My commute is actually my favorite time. Like, I get to decompress and I get to think about my day. I commute through World Trade Center, which has a lot of fashion displays. And look, even our handbags are here. Always exciting to see. We are officially in Hoboken. It takes me about 40 to 45 minutes to get from World Trade Center to Hoboken. I normally listen to music or try and set intentions as I walk. Um, I could take the bus, but I'd rather walk and just enjoy the weather today. All right, we made it to the office. Fun fact, the vegan warehouse is actually in a warehouse. Like, legit, a warehouse. <laughs> so normally when I get to the office, um, I go through some emails and then I start a to-do list of everything that I have to finish today and go over the list from yesterday to see if I have to push something for today. First, I think we should talk about what product development is. Basically for any company, a product developer has to manage the entire development process from the beginning, which is basically the designing, down to when you actually receive the bulk order into your warehouse. So we are gonna go over our samples. Sample list, making sure we have everything in, checking in on what else we're waiting for, what's outstanding, so we can plan our next purchase order and we can plan our fall launch. Yes. Samples are here. Let's do this. When receiving a sample, I look for three main things. First, I check that the tech pack measurements match the sample. I make sure we're happy with the overall look, color, and feel of the material and quality. And lastly, I search for any details that can be improved before placing our order. Cute. Cute. This is new, by the way, all the Mercy lining. Second iteration. There's definitely a difference in the way they painted the edges. I become Inspector Gadget over here. This key tab holder is supposed to be on this side. So basically, I was brought into the team in January for, I would say, two main reasons. One is to improve Mercy and also to kind of reestablish who we are and what we are and look at all of the bags that we currently have and see what we can do to make them better. So for example, one of the um, improvements that we're gonna make to every bag that we have is changing the hardware to making sure it's um, of better quality. And we're also branding it because we think it would look really cute with every bag. Research is actually a really big part of product development, especially when you're trying to find trends and you're trying to see what customers are gravitating towards. So today I'm going to be doing some research and I'm going to be looking at trying to gather some inspiration for either our next collection or even just for a new style. So I usually go into Instagram, I follow all the influencers you can think of. I also like to go into like really high-end and low-end designers to see what the similarities are, what the differences are, to get something more unique and that speaks to our customer, which is very important for me. And I also like to be very functional. So I look at like a lot of details, whether the pocket size or how you open a clasp. I mean, all of these things are, are things that I like to look at when I'm just buying a bag. Hey guys, so I am at the path. This is actually World Trade Center. It's actually really inspiring because I get to see obviously a lot of people usually wearing bags or or whatever it is just going going about their day and here's where I come to see what's going on what are people wearing how much are people carrying is something that I always look at too like should our bags get even bigger or should they 
become smaller if we find anything. Anyway, C1, that's nice. Anyway, I can do this all day. I never get tired of working. <laughs> a little tassel. A lot of totes. So these are the little things I look for. And you might be curious, well, what is Vanessa wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing our um, Harlow in taupe. Actually, if you look, my laptop actually fits, which I freaking love. All right, just got home. Now I'm going to be cooking and I'm just gonna wind down. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them all below. And actually, I would love to know what kind of bags you wear. So put that in there as well. And make sure to tune in, subscribe, and I'll see you again. We'll be here every Friday.